Linda McCartney, un personaje que testimonió una época a través de un libro de fotografías, porque pertenece a esa época y porque además me parece que tiene un tercer ojo en su cámara. Linda McCartney, un personaje comprometido con su tiempo y con un tiempo de salud. Linda McCartney, bienvenida a la Argentina. Thank you. Thank you. Hay, este, eh, creo reconocer en Linda una mujer de ideas. Lots of ideas and hope for the future of the world. Esas ideas tienen que ver justamente con lo que está más allá de su propia familia, pero muchas me parece para el interior, para lo que es su propia familia. Oh, I think it all begins at home. You must practice it yourself, and if you think it works, then you try and encourage other people. Bueno, vamos a empezar por casa entonces. Well, ask me a question. Voy a empezar preguntando cómo se siente el ser primero la compañera de ruta de un hombre tan popular, tan importante como es Paul. Well, we are best friends. Somos los mejores amigos entre nosotros. And it's good. We work together. We have a good, strong relationship. We love our children. And I think we are good for each other. <laughs> ¿Cuáles son los cambios de aquel Paul que, que Linda conoció como Beatle y, y bueno, con tantas fans queriendo tocarlo? Y este Paul tan tranquilo, tan relajado, tan, tan familiar. He's, he's very um, creative, very artistic, and I think that will always be with him, his talent. He's not so quiet. <laughs> um, he's not that different than he used to be. I think he was always for peace and love, and I think his music came naturally from him. And I think he's very much the same, but he has grown really, I think he's just grown as a person. But he's always had a good heart. Eh, hace unos días en la conferencia de prensa, cuando se le preguntó por qué a Paul, por qué Paul y Linda podían seguir juntos después de tanto tiempo, Paul dijo, porque todavía tenemos muchas cosas en común que nos interesan y, y nos seguimos descubriendo. Okay. Eh, la misma opinión, pero para de Linda. It's very true. Um, I think we work so much now on the tour to spread the word of kindness because we are in such a violent world and we are in a world where we're destroying our environment and we keep thinking of new reasons why we should work together to spread the word. Like in Argentina, we drive to the house where we are staying and on the way there, coming the other way, I see truckloads of, of cows going to the slaughterhouse. I mean. Just every day we come to the show, I see them going. Every day at night we go back, I see them going. Today we counted, I think, 14 truckloads. And we say to each other, that is why we are here, to let people know that this is very cruel, that it's very bad for the environment. So we have interest, really, in, the, in life together. Sí, uno piensa a veces en esos animales y también piensa en la raza humana, que si bien no vemos como mucha gente va al matadero, sí sabemos que día a día nacen quienes no tienen la suerte de sobrevivir. I agree, and I think we must be kinder. I think for the world we must stop eating flesh. I think for each other we must stop eating flesh, and we must value everybody's life. And I think there are many good ideas that people could have to make it a better world. Obviously, I'm saying go vegetarian. I think it's very good, but I care just as much about children We are all animals. I am an animal. Children are animals. I am just as concerned about women being beaten up, children being abused, war. I don't understand any of it. I'm just saying I think the start is by what you put in your body. And if there is no demand for flesh, because animals are murdered, and most people don't realize how this food gets on their plate, children grow up and they want love and they love animals and they're eating animals and they don't realize the violence so i'm trying to say no violence some people think because i love animals i don't love people i love people as much as animals but i think people are so cruel i don't think animals are cruel people are cruel to each other they are cruel to the earth and i think we can change it that's all linda uh, in casa la, la, la idea de inculcar una forma de vida, ¿te pertenece o, o fue también charlada con Paul y el resto de la familia? 
Many years ago, about 20 years ago, more now, we were on a, our farm in Scotland eating leg of lamb. And we were looking out the window, admiring our little sheep. And Paul turned to me and he went, we're eating one of their legs. And we said, that was it. And we never ate fish or any flesh again, no chicken, no cows, no sheep, because we realized the violence of this. So it's good. And now doctors say that meat is not good for your health, so it all works out. This is why I make my vegetarian cookbook, to say to people, you can eat very, very well without having to have an animal murdered for your plate. Los chicos salieron igual. Oh, very much, yeah. <laughs> Ayer Paul decía que era más fácil componer yesterday o let it be que criar cuatro hijos. Oh, much easier, <laughs> yes, because life is hard. And, you know, everybody needs a lot of time and a lot of love. We know, you know, you know. But we love our children. Cuando llegaron a Argentina, la decisión de, de irse en el auto manejando en la familia unida, juntita, este, ¿fue de él o tuya? Mine. <laughs> and when we were driving out there, he said, see, it's your fault. Because we had so many crazy, crazy, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. ¿Y cuál fue la idea? Acercarse más, conocer más una ciudad, y este, estar más cerca de la gente. Esa habrá sido la idea tuya. Exactly. They said, you can take a helicopter. I said, yes, but I would like to feel the country. So let's drive. And Paul said, oh, okay, I'll drive. Not realizing it would be crazy. He drove very well. It was like, oh, ah, ah, ah. But we had a laugh. It was fun. Como admirador de los Beatles y seguidor de toda mi vida, siempre pensé, pensé que Linda McCartney era una cámara fotográfica. Y que por eso, este, quizás ella también, eh, elegido ir en el automóvil manejando, porque ella busca estar tomando a la gente de cerca. La música, el estar arriba del escenario junto con Paul, también es como tener la posibilidad de estar con la cámara fotográfica para testimoniar lo que ocurre. I wanted, it's true, the real truth is I wanted to see where we would be. I wanted to see the people, how they live, and I thought if we go any other way, it'll be like anywhere else. So, like you say, I, I'm a very visual person, so... It was great. The only thing that upset me was this seeing all these, that's when I first saw them that day, all these animals going to the slaughterhouse. Y desde arriba del escenario, ¿qué es más fuerte? Eh, ¿La música o también la fotografía de estar junto con Paul y ver toda esa admiración que se despierta ahí abajo? I love it. I love the equal. I love the, I love the music, but I look very much, very much relate to the people in the audience. Y la decisión de estar ahí arriba en el escenario y hacer música con su marido, ¿es también tuya? No. <laughs> no. It was his idea. I blame him. He just said, after the Beatles broke up, he said, why don't we do a group? I said, but I don't play, you know, I love music, but I don't play anything. He said, well, you could play keyboard. Here's middle C, now learn it. And I did. Ahí estaban los Wins. ¿Y los hijos arriba del escenario, no? Not on stage, but they are very musical. James, my James. son, likes playing guitar. Mm -hmm. And he loves Jimi Hendrix, like we mm -hmm. do. He loves all music. And they are all good singers. And they enjoy it. But I don't know if they will do it professionally. Maybe as a hobby. Linda, además de agradecerte este tiempo que nos has entregado aquí en Argentina, te pido dos favores. Uno de ellos es... Eh, un plato para esta noche, rico, rico, rico. Una receta de estas tantas que puedes recomendarnos para que las señoras la cocinen esta noche. Tonight, I Tonight. think, maybe spaghetti. Spaghetti. I think so. Ah, ¿Cómo? ¿De qué manera? Pasta. Mm. ¿De qué manera? Oh, maybe pesto with basil and garlic and olive oil. Mm. ¿Qué dice? Eh, ¿alguna, ¿Alguna cocción especial? ¿Algún tiempo? Yes, you must not overcook the pasta. And... In my cookbook, and they have this in Argentina, I understand, we use um, textured vegetable protein. I don't know what you call it here. There is a name. It's like gluten, maybe. Um, it tastes like meat, but nothing has to be murdered. And there are a lot of, in my book, a lot of that. Hay que buscarlo en su libro y yo tendré que buscar este, alguna persona que cocine mejor que yo para ayudarle. Yeah. Bueno, y ahora...
Este, a ver, pongamos la cámara fotográfica. Y en estos días, pocos en la Argentina, eh, mostrame fotos de lo que más te ha impresionado y lo poco que pudiste ver de aquí a tu casa, de tu casa, aquí al aeropuerto. Alguna foto de mi Buenos Aires. Today I photographed the cows in the trucks. Um, the faces of the children and the people, I think. And very much the audience. Last night in the show, I photographed the people. Uh, the faces in the show, I photograph a lot. And the, and the beautiful birds and animals and trees. I think it is very beautiful here. Muchas gracias, Linda. Este, conociste la Argentina. Nosotros hace mucho que conocemos a Linda McCartney y la admiramos. Muchas gracias. Thank you. I hope to come back. Señoras, señores, Linda McCartney. Thank you. Y atención a este tema y a todo lo que pasa en él. Vivir y dejar morir. Paul McCartney.